Hey love, so today we're gonna do a NYX haul. It really isn't that much stuff, but it felt like a lot. I got a bunch of new brow products and some new of their new contour products. Some of these aren't brand new, but the brow products are all really new and really exciting because I feel like there's some dupes in here. So we're gonna jump right in. And the most exciting thing that I got, probably the biggest reason I made the, the purchase, because this has been hard to find everywhere, it seems to be sold out of it around here. So I went ahead and ordered it online. And if you do go to nyx.com and you sign up for their emails, you'll get a 25% off code. So I got all of this for 25% off. So that was super exciting. My baby girl is sitting in the NYX box right now. So I just took everything out so I could show you. So this is the Highlighting Contour Pro Palette from NYX. I was thinking about doing a whole highlighting contour video with a demo and all of that jazz. I know that I do it in my tutorials, but I thought I could do that and then also compare this guy to the Anastasia Contour Palette and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. But if you guys want to see that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below because I would love to do that for you. What really drew this drew me to this is that I am literally like obsessed with the NYX Blush and Taupe for contouring. I have hit pan on it. I love it. Love it. It is perfect. If you are pale, you can definitely just lightly apply it, but you know me. Love that contour all about that. You got a round face like this and big old cheeks. I try and shade my cheeks down so I contour and then kind of shade upward because I have such large, I have really big cheekbones and chubby cheeks. So that together it's like cheeks, full days. So you get your four highlight shades and you get your four contour shades. Definitely some cool tone contours, which is great in here. And then I love how light these two powders are. This highlight, this one's shimmery. This one is like pretty much white, a white highlight, which yes, when you are pretty much white as snow, get soaked. And I love how pale this um, matte highlight shade is. Look at that. Definitely more pale than the Anastasia one in vanilla. So super excited about that. I might actually for once get to use a powder highlight that's not shimmery. I always just go for a shimmer highlight. I barely like never use a, actually here, put a little bit on there. Look at that, it actually gave a highlight. Now I gotta do it on the other side. Boom. Yes. That actually brightened up the area. What is this? Oh, I love you, Nyx. I love you so much, don't even. All about that life. Loving it. Okay, so this is a total win already. I'm really excited to try this. I can swatch all of these for you and do an individual video on this palette if you would like. Again, just let me know. So the next contour and highlight product that I picked up was the Wonder Stick. And I got mine in light medium. I think, I thought I ordered just light, but apparently it's light medium. I don't remember, I don't know. Whatever the lightest one was is the one that I went for. And this has a cream, so this is a cream and it's in stick form. So there's a highlight shade, which is actually lighter than my skin. At least on my hand, which never happens. Such a win. I freaking love NYX. Thank you for being a drugstore product that actually pays attention to us pale, pale folk. That is such a beautiful contour shade. Look at that. Oh, perfect. I cannot wait to try this on the face. Really beautiful. I'm really excited. I haven't done a whole lot of creamed contouring, but I'm really excited to try this little guy. This is going to make it so easy. I've seen so many people contour their nose and stuff with this little stick in sticks like this and it's just so good. So really excited to try this little dude. This was totally sold. It's been sold out everywhere. I've been wanting it for quite a while and I could not find it. We're onto the brow products. Two of the NYX Micro Brow Pencils. I got one in, what shade are you? I totally busted one open because I'm wearing one today. In taupe and then one in chocolate. I go back and forth between taupe brows and chocolate brows. These are like my two staple colors. I sometimes stray from them, but almost always will go back to either taupe or chocolate. So I wanted to try one of each. Plus these are supposed to be dupes of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has the really fine tip. Oh, definitely similar in texture. I can tell you that. 
and then the spoolie on the end. I'm so excited. I feel like the Brow Wiz is the number one thing that I repurchased over anything. When I was organizing all of my makeup, I found so many that were like empty that I just didn't throw away or ones that I forgot that I purchased because I just like so many. Definitely, seriously, number one repurchase thing because I would use one every single day. I've been using the It Cosmetics Build a Brow a lot lately and kind of experimenting with like the NYX brow gel and stuff like that, but Definitely my staple if I'm running late or I need to do brows really quick. I can fill in like the inner corner really quickly because I have really sparse hairs in here with one of these. Well, the Anastasia brow was. So I'm really excited because that one is I think $21, $22 in these retail for $9.99. And then when I ordered them with the 25% off code, they were only $7.50. And then like at Ulta, if you have a coupon, stuff like that. Get you some. I heard that Ulta is actually pricing them at $10. I haven't been to Ulta since these launched because they just came out, so I'm not sure. But I was watching another video and she said that they retailed for $10 so that you could just use your $350 coupon off of $10 and get it full cheap. So that is the taupe one right there. I'll swatch the chocolate one real quick. So excited about these. I know that there are some other brands that have some that are similar, but I feel like this is the first one that might actually be comparable. They're I love that I hold it up like you can see from there, this little tiny thing. It's a really, really pretty shade. I'm excited to use that guy. So taupe and chocolate, given that's really far away, but you get the idea. Really, really excited about this. After I get a feel for these, I definitely wanna make a video about them. And the last two products that I picked up were two of the Tinted Brow Mascaras. I I really wanted to get their new kind of the brow pomade that they put out, but I tried to like scale it back. I have a ton of brow pomade. I didn't need any more, but I was running low on my MAC waterproof brow set in Euphorically Blonde. And I felt like this might, these might be close. And I used the, the blonde one. That's why it's upside down, because I put it in upside down. I used the blonde one today and it definitely, it's comparable. I don't know yet how I feel. But if you are looking for a drugstore option of a tinted brow gel, so far so good with this one. I keep saying taupe, but it's blonde. The blonde one has a really nice shade. It's not sparkly or anything. Let me see if I can even swatch this guy for you. It's really always hard to swatch like mascaras. It's really pale, which is nice. I like the, let's see, you can't even like see that one right there. The MAC Euphorically Blonde one, because when it like, it lightens up your brow hairs. It does something, I don't even know. It's like magical. I feel like my brows look better with that on them. Just gonna brush that through there. You can tell, I can, well in the viewfinder, I feel like I can see a difference. This one looks lighter. Now I'm gonna have to do the other one. So there, you can see the difference. Maybe you can't see a difference. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm really into brow products right now, if you can tell. All about that life. Yes, looking crazy on my hand right there. So, blonde, chocolate. So far, I really like these guys and I really do like the micro brow pencil. I'm really excited about these products. I know it's not a huge haul. I did end up spending like $50 still because the contour palette is $24.99 and then this was I think $12.99. These were $9.99. These might have been $9.99 too. I honestly don't remember. I was just really excited about all these products because they're definitely ones that I've wanted for a while and could not find around me and have not had time to go look for them. I feel like life's been really crazy lately. So really excited about all of these products. Definitely because I feel like these are everyday products that I know that I'm going to use and things that I repurchase often. Like I was just going to repurchase the new brow gel. Like, so I'm excited to have another brow gel. I'm gonna give this one a go. This pencil, super excited about this. I feel like it's about time. I'm shocked that no one did it sooner. Like maybe there is one that I'm totally not aware of, but for how amazing that Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil is, and how there aren't like a thousand dupes out, I don't know. If you guys want a video comparing any of the brow products to the Anastasia products like side by side or the contour palettes, again, just let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would love to do that for you. And as always, let me know what you want to see down below. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will talk to you soon.